Hey everybody, Eric here from Greybeard Adventures. Welcome to my channel. The name of the game today is uh, Find Some Mushrooms, and I did find some. Something that you don't often find. I'm excited to show you guys. We're going to pick them, and then we're going to cook them. But first, got a little mushroom joke for you. I think it's probably one of the fungiest ones I could uh, come up with. What sort of activities do mushrooms love most? Spore. All right, enough of that nonsense. Let's uh, let's get these mushrooms picked and then uh, cook them up. Before we get to my special find, though, I thought I'd show you this patch of shaggy mane mushrooms. They are edible, actually quite delicious. But recent research has actually determined that uh, they are bioaccumulators of heavy metals. So if there's any kind of pollutant in the soil where they're growing, they'll pull it out of the ground and absorb it into their um, into their uh, flesh. And uh, since this bunch is growing on a road, who knows what kind of uh, substances have fallen off vehicles or what have you. We're definitely not going to be eating this bunch, but I thought I'd show you anyways because they're a very cool mushroom. Here's another interesting find. This one's a yellow patch, type of Amanita mushroom, I believe, and uh, very toxic, so we're not eating it. This is just something that you admire. Here we have a creamy russula. It's a type of edible mushroom. I love the gills on the side and uh, the way it leaves that kind of ribbed or rippled pattern along the edges. It's just so neat. It is edible, but uh, quite bitter, so we're not gonna touch it. Who wants to eat a bitter mushroom? Here's another interesting species of mushroom. This is a green brittle gill. It's a type of russula as well. Uh, I don't know if it's poisonous or not. I think it might be, so I'm not just going to leave it, but another interesting species. Weird color for a cap. It's kind of a ugly green. <laughs> All right, now here's what we really wanted to see. Blue and beautiful. Check these out. What a find. These are actually known as indigo milk caps. They're not uh, super common. They're not overly rare either. So I've got one back there, two over here, another nice one here. This one's a nice picture perfect, and a little button one over here. So uh, yeah, quite a nice find. So here are the things I look for when I'm picking this type of uh, mushroom. First and foremost, obviously, we're looking for the color. Got nice blue on these, so that's a good indication. And we're also looking for gills instead of pores. So you can see that's what we've got here. Let's grab this guy. Nice, another nice little mushroom. Another thing I'll look for is bruising. So that's kind of the key indicator for this type of mushroom. If you find any green or blue bruising, that's usually a good sign. So, um, oh, okay, here's one. This one's got some damage, and there we go. It's got some green, kind of oozy stuff. That's uh, I'm fairly confident now that these are indigo milk caps. Pick our last little button mushroom over here. And you don't need to worry about hurting the organism. You can see there's always some uh, mycelium left underground. That'll grow back next year. And there we go. There's our collection for the day. Let's do this. Cue the music. All right, we're at home now. Got the mushrooms all cleaned up. You can see some more of that blue or greenish bruising. We're just going to take any kind of kitchen knife, make sure it's sharp, cut these up into uh, bite-sized pieces. I don't want them to be too thick, don't want them to be too thin either. Just uh, enough that we can fry them up into uh, even-sized pieces. Now, yeah, look at that color. So blue. It's, uh, it's incredible that that comes from a mushroom that we picked ourselves out in the bush. Look at that. Got them all chopped up, ready to go. Just gonna melt some butter. Fairly easy recipe, we're gonna add the mushrooms. Get them all in there. There they are, starting to cook. Meantime, we're gonna 
cut up some baguette. And there we go. Pretty neat how it maintains its color. Get your baguette lined up. Start topping with the mushroom. You can put as little or as much as you want. I'm going to use up all my mushrooms for the one dish. And for this recipe I picked, I figured we have blue mushrooms, why not go with some blue cheese? I also added some goat cheese to a few of them. And there we, do, there we have it guys, final product. Two with goat cheese, two with blue cheese, absolutely delicious. You can find some indigo milk caps, pick them, cook them, eat them. You'll love it.